right, welcome back to the Heroes by the Pint podcast. This is part two of season two. Luke Cage. A lot of twos there. <laughs> no, I was doing my <laughs> <laughs> Better than the fives and tens you and Marcus threw up earlier. Keep it five. <laughs> Ten. Stars. Without 20, stars. Twenty-five by the time we are done with that, with all the fingers that were up here. Review us 25 stars, please. The 25 stars. <laughs> <laughs> so review us five times. <laughs> uh, this episode, as last, we are drinking North High's Pale Ale. If you want to find out our bottle cap grades, follow us on Untapped or... I would recommend listening to episode one if you're just tuning into episode two about the uh, backstory. (laughs) 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 All right, jumping right back into Luke Cage. Misty. 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 All right, I I gotta get right to it. How hyped were you when she got the arm? So hyped. I know. I've been waiting for it since they. Dude, like, that fight scene without the arm, though. Oh my god. I know. I know. I was, and the one where she like goes to throw the arm, and she's like, "Oh wait, I don't have an arm." She gets hit, and then she's like, "Oh I was wondering. Uh, what was, episode does she get her arm? Uh, probably episode like, eight. Yes. Yeah. So probably the episode that I'm probably going to watch right when I get out. Dude, it's so dope. Oh, yeah, okay, there's the arm. To be honest, right. at, the, at that point I was like, Luke Cage, I don't even know who you are. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I was wondering when she was in the fight scene with Colleen Wing, one of my complaints uh, about about these seasons is I think about, like, I'm like, you know, you got Luke Cage chilling in Harlem. Literally chilling. You got Bushman, Bushmaster coming through just wrecking things. I mean, you got heads on skulls. Matt Murdock couldn't roll through and be like, hey, bud, do you need any help? No, I like, sent full busy. Iron Fit. Like, there, it just seems like <laughs> they sent full. That's yeah. right. He's got, right. He's got they, they sent Iron Fist. Iron Fist got the app and, and <laughs> followed. But I just, like, I honestly... You I took initiative. When I saw, that would have been amazing if they actually did show that. Like, I know, it's like so Iron walking. Fist in the corner just like, 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 playing Pokemon Go you, after. Like, no, it's Luke Cage is over here. Pop. Uh... I wanted more Colleen Wing, but I always want more Colleen Wing. Everybody does. But my thought during that fight scene is, you know, when Misty threw, <laughs> threw the right, she and doesn't have like, an arm. Oh, yeah, you ever I. think there was a moment when, you know, she's in the bedroom, yeah. fella, and she goes, you know, hand job, land job, I don't understand job. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I don't understand job. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, an old fashioned. <laughs> an old fashioned, that's South right. Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know it's South Park. It's uh, my favorite it. line in South Park history. I know what oh, old Sharon. fashion is. An old yeah, fashion. I know an old fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> it's the shake way. I'm, so I'm a Misty Knight stand, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love Misty Knight. Nice oh, uh, dude, when she got the arm. So badass. Yeah, I, I was like ecstatic. Best one arm villain hero ever. Best one arm hero ever. Yeah, I can't debate. I was trying to think of another one. Maybe it's like that. I'm over here looking so so confused, I and I'm like, oh. who else had one arm? As, as we're jumping <laughs> around so much, I meant to bring this up earlier when we talked about Bushmaster. Is Bushmaster just stick? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so stick? I mean, stick is like. And not for real, but you know, like he has the same mentality of like what is like you know, Stick has one mission yeah. in mind and he is going to accomplish that at all costs. And that's know. where Bushmaster I mean, is yeah. I just felt like I don't know, whenever I see Stick I can't get Master Splinter out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a rat named Master Splinter. <laughs> the Splinter wasn't blind. I had the same thing. It's the same. Ah, so he's a rat. Yes, and he's old. Real old. You got a staff. He had a rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, into Misty Night. <laughs> yes. We're talking about the arm. We're talking about how hyped it is that she leaves the pension behind, comes back to the force. And she has like the coolest up. video game superpower ever. Not a superpower, but in like every true crime video game in the world right now, we're trying to solve like murders and like in real time. Like, she has, like, that ability to, like, string things together Dexter style. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Time. I'm so happy. And I'm so like, happy. oh, my God, that's the coolest ability ever. Yes. yes. Like, when she goes to the the uh, the furniture store. Yeah, and yeah. It's, like, this moment where they, like, pause, and she's, like, standing in a certain position, and she can kind of see where everybody was. And, yes, it was very Dexter. Yes. 
essence. Yeah. I don't know. Like it was, it was awesome. It was very Dexter esque. Like she she, she could rewind? piece it all together and rewind and yeah. And see it all in her mind. And and yes, I don't know what mm-hmm. that is. It's mm-hmm. like the opposite of a spotty sense. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a this already happened but I can see it. <laughs> how, yeah. how it came to fruition. Yeah. <laughs> how tight was it during that bar fight? <laughs> When Colleen Wing just sits back and is like, "Oh, I love this scene where get up. so like Missy hits, like goes to the right, and she obviously misses, and then and Colleen's just like, <laughs> she literally, she literally is oh, like, oh no, wait, wait, <laughs> obviously misses. She doesn't have an arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah arm she arm she arm. majorly whiffs that. Like she wow. looks at her, she looks at her own arm like, oh yeah, and then and then Colleen is just like, she goes like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's back and finishes her beer. But then that dude breaks the bottle and she's like, nah, fam. <laughs> like, <laughs> not today. <laughs> I, I love when she like goes like Colleen goes all karate kid on it. It's yeah. just all like judo chops to the throat and like, It was very kill bill. Yeah, yeah. She was just on it, man. Colleen Wing is so boss, dude. So I, boss. Yeah, yeah. I uh that's probably why I'm most hyped for season season two. Of Iron Fist, I just want to see more Colleen <laughs> win. Although, like, I really wanted Marcus to see, just roll this out. So I want to see, like, I want to see the relationship of Danny Rand and Misty Knight because you're talking about yeah. canon. Yeah, that's canon. Yeah, you're such an Iron Fist stand, man. I love it, man. You nice haven't even stuff. watched the season, dude. You haven't even watched like more than an episode. Uh, four. All right, we'll finish it. And it was like the worst, like, serial. Like sugar and these sweets. I've watched Iron Fist twice. Wait, I think it's what? better. All it's good. It. It's good. All it. It's bad. It's bad. I took it all in twice. But Dan- <laughs> Danny Rand does like such like I, dude Finn Jones. I can't remember what it was. He He's did such a goofball. Dude. He had done something in the Luke Cage season two, and I was just like, man, he's he's kind of crushing it. And I'll say this: his choreography was way better. Like okay, his fight that scenes are better. Difficult to achieve. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Fist fight scenes were like, what da And then someone's like, Pshh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so over here so like, fat. Shot, like, and Fat's doing the choreography over here. Like, Man, Crouching Tiger looks amazing. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. It's like Kill Bill. I'm on just a saying. Bad day. I'm just saying. You can tell that Finn Jones has worked hard for season two. It was like how the Matrix Danny became Brandon. a parody, yeah. and every and everyone was like, Ugh. like that was Iron Fist. It was so. I, I love for Ellis for Iron Fist. He's like playing the part of Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side yes. for, 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 for Iron Fist. Like, yeah. like, good job, good effort. You did great. Uh, Your standards are so low. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. How many times? Misty Knight quit the force in season two here. Like 13. <laughs> every episode then? Yeah, I mean, every time she tried to interrogate someone, she's like, don't interrupt an interrogation. And they're like, you're not allowed to be here. Right. And they're quit. like, they're like, you're our saving private ride. We're not allowed to do anything to you, but we hate you and want you to leave. Man, she's yeah. like, oh, all right, great. I'm going to still function according to my own agenda. <laughs> she does have like the world shit of his colleagues. She, uh, her colleagues suck. Yeah, they're bad. They're all oh, yes. Although I want to, Naughty, I think it was Naughty. Naughty. Yeah, I want I want Naughty to challenge. Old Misty in a game of one on one. No, no, <laughs> Chelsea do a sing off. Old Naughty yeah. was nailing it, man. Oh, we talk yeah. about auditioning for The Voice, man. Misty yeah. Knight was calling her out on that. Yeah. I thought I thought we were gonna play God some speed. play some hoops. No, no. Man. <laughs> I was I mean, like, that's not fair, man. Misty, <laughs> Misty, she's like, she's like, like this is my court. <laughs> 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 my initials are on it. I don't know if you saw. <laughs> Chelsea's like, Misty Knight goes up with a layup. I mean, obviously misses. Uh, I can land a left handed layup, just saying. Okay. Obviously oh. misses. Obviously misses. <laughs> she goes to cross over Naughty yeah. and. Good luck guarding on the left the side. You don't have a right arm. So. No crossovers. That's my That's point really about the left handed layouts. I'll win every time. She's got a hezzy instead of a crossover. Just a hezzy. Uh, I'm not afraid to exploit her disability. I, I, I like that Naughty got hers in the end, though, man. Like, yeah. when, when she sold out to Bushmaster, which again, man, Naughty had a point. She's like, Mariah is the cancer. Yeah. Like, Bushmaster is just trying to get right and get hit, like, 
Mariah is the cancer Absolutely. dude. Absolutely. So like I, I kind of was like with Naughty man. Like I don't know. That's the way the law shakes out, I guess. Mariah. Who shot with pretty balance? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I don't know. Like I, I'm interested to see the way they continue to develop Misty Knight and Luke Cage's character as we're saying towards the end. You know, Misty Knight's essentially saying like, "Hey, I'm coming after you," and now she's going to be, she's going to be the house cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they're calling uh, old sergeant, whatever. Yeah, <coughs> I'm interested in T's character too because she, like you said, took on the role of Mariah. To some degree, towards the end, she got oh, very yeah. uh, cold. So oh. so millennial. Such a millennial. Yeah, especially <laughs> when Luke, like when Luke got the club that she didn't want, and then you can just see her like. Right. What like, was cooler, that club or the red circle? Uh, Pops Barbershop. Man. Pops, all the way. Yeah. That Coke machine, Coke's really a dollar. <laughs> and right? you know, everywhere you go, it's like a dollar twenty-five. So Not a I noticed the coke machine too. <laughs> so I know it's like water and soda. Yeah, I was like, like that's, that's a deal. But it's funny because I'm watching that too. I'm like, I wonder who comes and changes that out. Every right? Month. Like, you know, I, I love Luke Cage. Daily functions. <laughs> that, that's honestly Danny Rand. He's like, funny seeing you here. It's like I followed the soda app. <laughs> Do my rounds for Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, that's probably one of my favorite scenes from season one is when Cottonmouth, like, they come at Cottonmouth mm-hmm. and the guy's like, Yeah, we shot up Pops. Like, yeah. like we got the snitch, don't worry. And he's like, You shot up Switzerland. Yeah. You shot up, like, Pops is dead. And, like, Cottonmouth just does not play. Like, that dude goes up, <laughs> like, Dude, yeah. I, I miss Cottonmouth. They offed him too early. They did a, an incredible job developing Mariah at, as the head villain and the way that Shades came in and kind of helped push her to that level. I, I loved at the end when Shades is like talking with Mariah and he's like, look, this is the life now. I yeah. hope you're ready. Like your head's on a swivel. No one's a friend. And nowhere is safe. And nowhere is Except safe. for me, baby. Except for me. And I, and I snitched on you. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, baby, we'll get that money. <laughs> I promise you. And she's like, okay, I believe you. Call me Rude Boy. <laughs> <laughs> rude Boy! <laughs> what? Oh, what was the other? I think they were saying what you want. And it was like, ah, I can't even do it. Because you're not Jamaican. Right. <laughs> He's like doing his best cool running I don't know, but, like impression. but I am ska dad. That's what my wife says. Ska ska dad? <laughs> I got a like I got, real big fish. Yeah, I got a fork I got a fork I got a fork pie hat. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pork pie hat. And my wife started calling me ska dad and I was like it's like, oh that's funny, but that's also an awesome name for a ska band formed oh, so by a bunch so of dads. <laughs> no, that would be so like if a bunch of dads formed a ska band. Dude, I love yeah. ska. It's, it represents happiness, dancing, and freedom. And, and terrible dads. music. <laughs> the world. Terrible music. Uh, since Every, we're, there's like 30 people in one band all playing different yes. instruments. Somebody and, playing a flute. And you got a dude who just dances, kind of like our Ryan. Yeah. Like they're just not even there. He's they're just not, in the background like... Skanking. skanking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a tank top. <laughs> right, right. Like I said, kind of like our Ryan right now, you know? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, since we are talking about music, I would be remiss, and I, I need to know your take on this, Chelsea. Gary Clark Jr.'s guitar tone in episode two. 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 It was legit. Dude, yes. that guitar legit. tone. Yes, it could be. That guitar tone made me want to go out and buy an amp. I don't play music yes. anymore. But I was like, I'm not gonna lie. Like if I if I can find it, I I will buy the soundtrack for season two. It's on. It's on. Uh, no, it's not. I thought don't it was on Apple Music. You looked it up. Don't. No, do I actually tried to on the way here. Uh, um, it's it's very very good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. We talked about Wu Tang, but the first one, like Luke Cage, he can't even throw a punch without Wu Tang in his ear. (laughs) Who can? No one. (laughs) Wait, 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 can Deadpool throw a punch without DMX? Nah. There we go. Yeah, I mean, can can Deadpool like 
watch someone Look get killed Boy. without He's got air a whole supplies. Misty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, hold supplies. on, let me get my cassette. Yeah, can, can Deadpool even like <laughs> watch a go. loved one die without no. uh, listening to air supply? Yeah. Or Dolly Parton. Yeah. Or Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm not blaming him. I'm saying I think, I think that's a good choice. So were you happy to see the end of... Uh, Claire and Luke's relationship, or were you wanting to see more? Was there no? Else? I think I I said this in uh, oh, oh in E one. That's that back on the music, dude. The love scene between Luke Cage and Claire. Where you see his butt? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and part of her butt crack. <laughs> you but. do see part of her butt crack. You see her but they're but they're you playing see lashy, but you see Luke's like butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. you saw his butt in just. I might have rewinded it like twice. Yeah, I mean, I rewound it. You yeah. was fine. rewound it when we were I in re- Wizard World. I did re- rewind it. That's You're it. like Mr. Bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> I was like all the things Alice could say to this man, Mr. Bulletproof. and he was like, "Yes, that is indeed me." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like essentially piranha at that point. You were. I was like, "Let me shoot you, my You're man." Like Kelly from Secret Identity Comics. No. Like, no, Mr. Bulletproof. I was like, Luke. <laughs> Let me shoot you real quick. <laughs> See how this goes. Uh, but they were playing Night Nurse. Yeah. The reggae song. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, dude, that is a deep cut. I like, wish we could pull it up now and play it because it was so good. Oh, it was it so awesome. Cut. And like, I, I hope that you're saying uh, Rosario Dawson Claire is not going to be around in season three. And that's a tragedy. Tra- so that's a rumor, and I don't want to confirm it by any means, but there is a... There's widespread news that she's just not sure if she wants to be involved in oh, season three. But I just wonder if she's going to, like, is, like, is she on the Daredevil now? Like, I don't know. How I, much money is she making? Because she's only doing, like, two episodes right. per hey, season. Hey, man, Lala doesn't have to work. Yeah. I'm, I, <laughs> I love Roro, man. She's amazing. Yeah. The best. I would see her every weekend when we lived in LA at the farmer's market in Venice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's tight, dude. Dude, you're so cool. Right. Like, we're we're out. He's like, right? We're, we're friends. It's fine. We shot corn. It's great. That's we right. just stood there shocking the corn. <laughs> Do you ask her clerks too if it's really okay? She said yes. It was okay. It's always okay to go ask them out. Okay. That's yeah. what I was wondering. Yeah. Good, good. We went, to, we went to movies after. I don't know if everyone heard that. But it's been. Confirmed. I said it really. Cool. I said I said it really quietly so we could edit it. It's always okay. It's always okay. Always okay. <laughs> That's what mouthwash is for. It's you some listerine. That's right. I wasn't a fan of Clerks too as much as. Well, no. It's oh my god, cool. I was. You loved oh. it. You loved it. Yes. Really? I saw it in the theater. Yeah. Was, yeah. The well, graffiti. Yes. I'm not gonna say what it said, but you know the graffiti. Oh yes, side, that was. Fun. That ended up itself made the whole movie. Right? I was actually <laughs> was just chilling was outside, like what? I was. A fan, <laughs> I was a fan of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah. That was a good one. They're making a third. I can't Are they? Wait, yes. There was just so many jokes in that. Yeah. that were you like, know my kind of humor. Like, I love South Park, Rick and Morty. No, sure, sure. <laughs> it's just the, the first class I have a, so epic. That I have, like, like, a low-grade, high-level sense of humor. It's like a combination <laughs> of both. They're like, ooh, that got a little intense, and we talked about Nietzsche, so let's fart. I have, right. I have, a, sophist- I have a sophisticated gutter sense of humor. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's like, I mean, farts, Some whatever. level, it's like somewhere in between... <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. It's a highbrow fart. <laughs> right. It's a highbrow fart. It's like farts, whatever, but a well timed fart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could change everything. That's right. <laughs> but Rosario is everything, so I hope she doesn't she doesn't get away from the yeah the Netflix MCU because she's they even made a joke about it in right. season two that she's kind of no. Like, I mean, the rumor is she's not going to be signed up for Luke Cage season three, and as I said in episode one. That's concerning for me because I think he's, you know, on the teeter-totter of life trying to figure out where he stands and how to handle his responsibility, and she's the voice of reason. She's exactly. always right. Which I did not believe, at least up until what I've seen. Did you guys think, like, the fight scenes, like, the actual arguments between Luke and Clara? I was like, the whole time I'm on Clara's side, like, always, Luke, what is your problem? Get shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. come yeah. on. Well, and I and not to like his dad is obviously presented in a 
like a low key villainous manner. Like the man has made mistakes, right? But his what he has to say is R.I.P. Poignant, you know. R. Well, yeah, but they make R. but the fights R. to me red, the, the red, arguments. Uh, red Catherine. Yeah. Yeah. The, R.I.P. The arguments felt contrived to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, even then, she's like, you know, you need to speak to him. You need to understand that people can change. Like you've changed. Maybe stop getting changed. stop getting in my head. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I, without I, her, it's there's no um, there's no counterbalance. There's, there's no, no balance, balance. To the force. Yeah, he's just going to essentially he's going to Darth Vader it up if we're not careful. Well, we, he's essentially like in that look he gives you on the season finale, season two. Terrifying. Like, Does yeah, that he, happen in the comics ever? Uh, I, I don't turn? believe so. No, I don't think so. I mean, Luke Cage kind of bounces around in the comics. Like you know, he he. Um, he, he like shows up in Heroes for Avengers Hire, he's in the Avengers, point, yeah. yeah, he has his own series, but he's kind of all over the place, and he's, and the thing in the comics is that he's always, um, the, like, the protector of Harlem, and... So what's he gonna do when, uh, Avengers Infinity War Part 1 comes and he can't protect half of Harlem? Right. Well, I don't think that ties in, because it does. clearly... The first, uh... It doesn't. The first Daredevil, they talk about the moment in Manhattan. No, it doesn't, because why is no one gone then? I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, when, they, when do, did they do in the Netflix MCU, they refer to... I know, I know, I, I know, incident. I know, I know, they talk about that. But at this point, like, has Infinity War... Has well, yeah, what, taken what's place? the timeline? I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, See, and that's where, like, I wonder how they'll differentiate between... So, wait a minute, Marcus, are you trying to say that Tildy... Was Loki the whole time? No, I'm trying to and say. She, but what, yes, what? yes. <laughs> no. So I was gonna make that reference because I was like, she's like a Loki character. Yeah, oh, except awesome. like kind of reversed. It's like she started out good and now she's evil. Where Loki was like, dude, I'm here to kill everybody. No, I'm not talking the best surprise ever. But I'm talking about it's actually Loki. He's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. He's, more he's like <laughs> Mariah was such. A <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking about like the Infinity Stone, like the Infinity Gauntlet only got part partially. Of Misty's arm, like it almost got all of her, but it stopped right at her arm. She's like uh, immune to the rest. It was like, oh, no, I guess I'm good. Take her shooting hand. Take her shooting hand. Yeah, like the scene where she's catching the tennis ball. Oh yeah, yeah. Does she obviously miss? Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously not Gina Davis. (laughs) Right, right, right. (laughs) Uh, So when my boy. Danny Rand, yeah. Iron Fist steps on the scene. You were you're so hot. You're like, oh, uh, uh, I was Iron waiting for. He takes his shoes off. I was waiting for it the whole he's time. The Iron he's Fist. respectful, and he's, his chakras are aligned. <laughs> I got one thing to ask. Can we patty cake, Chelsea? Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm you not gotta gonna do it. I'm come on, do it. you're not gonna do the Luke Cage patty cake. Never. When they patty cake and they blow the whole room apart. That's dangerous. Your kids are here. Oh, man. I was, like, so looking forward to that. That was, like, He's like, no! Yeah, I thought you'd be, like, like, ready to go. Uh, There we go. Nothing nothing happened because we're not superheroes. Yeah. Well, I didn't light it up. (laughs) My cheese out of balance. Yeah, I was going to say, your fist wasn't pretty human looking. Yeah, my my cheese out of balance. Like, you gotta gotta lock the... The key to this is you have to lock the thumb. The key (laughs) to being bulletproof... And having an iron fist is defeating Shalau, the undying. Basically creates an atomic bomb <laughs> in your basement and, not, and everyone dies. It's locking your thumbs. I'm not about to be responsible for that. I can't be responsible. <laughs> friends don't fr- let friends lock thumbs. You know what? <laughs> With one great of my power f- comes great responsibility. <laughs> one of my favorite uh, Danny Rand moments is when they're in the head shop with Turk's head shop. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up like the little alligator dragon marijuana pipe and he's like oh, I like this marijuana one. pipe marijuana the, the was, devil's lettuce I think it was a marijuana pipe though. it was a devil's lettuce pipe yeah. oh is that just like regular tobacco? that's what grandma's call marijuana oh. the, the devil's lettuce oh. devil's lettuce maybe it was just you've a, never heard that I have but I just yeah, I'm like oh, it's weird <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's marijuana I'm pretty sure marijuana. it's marijuana <laughs> so he picks up that little alligator like 
<laughs> he's like, I like this one. It was like right after Luke Cage was calling him out, and he's like, dude, dragons don't exist. <laughs> he's like, I literally fought a dragon. <laughs> it's, so <awesome. laughs> it's so awesome. And he's like, dude, you're bulletproof. He's like, I don't know if you saw that one time I fought a real live dragon. <laughs> <laughs> And DW's like, tell me more, I'll make a t-shirt. Not DW. Right. <laughs> He's like, man, tell me more, tell me more. No, it's DW. Diddy Kong. Dude, I don't know why I always just go to DK. And it's, it's hey, man, awesome. you are a Mario Kart enthusiast. I love yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, man, Mario Tennis. Just DW, I think thing. of, like, Arthur. Have you seen that show or watched oh, those yeah. books to your kids? Oh, yeah. DW is that annoying kid? Yeah, That's not, right. I mean, he's annoying. It's the mood. Yeah. Hey, man, he's just out there he trying to sell cooler. what's selling. <laughs> Right. Yeah, he's, he's like, just a hustler. That's right. It's like, Luke, you got knocked out, man. I got to sell this book. That was hilarious. He's like, everybody over here, Luke Cage getting knocked out. <laughs> like, um, he's yeah. got like handwritten DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're like, that scene was so sick. I'm like, it was so sick that DW sold it to everybody. So they didn't end <laughs> Bushmaster. How would you feel about that? Like, I, I was ecstatic that, like, he walked away. And, and and Shades comes back to Luke at Pops, and he walks in, and he's like, again, Shades, a step ahead of everybody. Uh, uh, Capache? Comanche? Comanche. Comanche? Comanche calls him out, and he's like, dude, you're a born leader. He is, and like Shades is like a sleep, you know, like in car with cars, you'll have like that Honda Civic that's like you want to race, and you're like yeah, and you're in a Ferrari, but they have like a black top engine, and you don't know it. Or, or you're just in a Mustang. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, and they call that a sleeper. It's like he's a sleeper. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. you're you're looking at this guy, and you're like you're kind of skinny. You're you know you got sunglasses on in somebody's basement. <laughs> like <laughs> you're you just don't seem that threatening. But then he is he always knows what's up. Like he's always he did a great job with Yeah. Oh dude, like he was so cool too when he was giving like Misty the lowdown on Mariah, and he's just like he's like yeah I killed her. Yeah. Like Clarence, yep. I uh, you Wait. drop. He's like you dropped your phone. Shay yeah. kills Mariah? No, no, no. no, no, no. He's oh my like, gosh, you can't tell me that. Kind You're of like, just, what? He nice. just admits to like everything he that he did. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. She, she totally dies. <laughs> Till. Yeah. And that's why the world is so out of balance right now. Uh, <laughs> Does, is that real? Really? Mariah dies? Yeah. Oh. It's alright. <laughs> this is a spoiler alert episode. Like, Mariah dies. So Her daughter T, kills her? T puts on this in, in theory, we're oh, that's the poison positive. lipstick that you're talking about. This poisonous lipstick that doesn't affect her at all, somehow, miraculously, unless Ellis can figure out why. Well, maybe she, she was put taking protectant. small doses. Did she put on a protectant and put that on? We don't know. But, you know, she's like an herb, she's like an herb doctor. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> I, I gathered that book. Yeah, <laughs> and she puts on this lipstick and then she, like, opens Mar- Marcus, didn't you have an herb doctor when you lived out west? I did. Dr. Yeah. 420. <laughs> <laughs> You're legit, you had a hat just like mine. I believe Dr. You, 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 you met him online. You had an online interview, and he gave nah, you a yeah, yeah, you had the a, devil's you had lettuce. A, you the had a, had a stethoscope and a full coat. Sounds like everything. you need the devil's lettuce for your anxiety. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this will help with your back Well, well I'm confident prescribed to prescribe new medical marijuana. Yeah, I don't know why you sound like George Bush. <laughs> yeah, a telescope. A telescope. <laughs> Man, this episode's getting drunk. <laughs> I love it, Marcus. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, No, uh, oh. Mariah, her T puts on that lipstick, visits her in jail. Kind of open. Wait, she kills her in jail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Open mouth kisses her, kind of. It was a pretty open mouth. Yeah, that's sexy. It was a very <laughs> intense like, kiss. It was enough to where... <laughs> where it was Mariah's like there's, like, there's legitimately uh, like clips of it on Pornhub. For sure, pretty taboo. Yeah. And Mariah's <laughs> like, she called me mother, and she kissed me weird, and she's questioning all of it the whole time. Um, and she had this poison lipstick, like, and it was a very poison ivy moment, in yeah. my opinion, um, where she kissed her, and then like Luke Cage is chilling with her, and she dies in front of him, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was it cool death though? Blood is all over her mouth. Uh, she's she's like blood, 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 yeah. blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, that was all of us doing that. Like, you know, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. It's just under saying, mature it black. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gore porn. But we're gonna Gore to, porn. <laughs> we're going to have to age gate this episode. <laughs> I don't know, man. Alex I was like just been, saying, like, we got to delete some of the more vulgar episodes. No, I feel like we've been pretty PG. Like, hey, we've talked about some racy things, but we haven't said the F word yet. We haven't said yeah, 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 right now. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about the Jamaican diner scene? That was that was pretty dope. Well, the diner was <laughs> uh, wait, which one? When he first goes to visit, or later? No, no, it is much later when Mariah murders everyone. We're like, sorry, Marcus, you're not there yet. That's right. That's right. We're we're spoiling everything for you and anyone who's going to listen to this episode. What about when you find out Billy is only fifteen? I know. I was like. Wait, Bill's 15. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm unplugging. He's like, and we're out. Dude, when they dropped that, I was like, that seems wrong. What? Like, right, I was like, no. If I was watching on my phone, drive. if I was watching on my phone, I would have hit like the 10 second like rewind yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah. wait, they're wait, talking yeah. about. That's what I did at the butt scene. Like the ch- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they're talking about the chick who went to work for Mariah and manipulated that old yeah. dude into selling in the like. And he's a sophomore in high school. She. she. Right, 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 right. And they're like, oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. The right. complete opposite gender. Right, right, the right, right. opposite of what I said. <laughs> no, and there she's making her like spin around in the dress. Oh yeah. Yeah, and she's like giving her this whole speech about like basically you box can box m- Mercedes out of the paint. Yes, you can manipulate men to get like all this power, and and she's like, all right, Billy, and then she's like, uh, my name's Stephanie. I don't mean to correct you, ma'am. Like, oh, wait, I, I saw mean, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It comes out that yeah. Billy, that chick, uh-huh. is, that only chick is only 15. What? Right. I mean, first, there's nothing more powerful than a good box out, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think I know where Marcus was going with that. Yeah. It but, sounded bad. Yeah, it didn't sound bad. <laughs> a box out. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was talking about, like, on the block, loaded in the paint. Yeah, loaded yeah. the paint, box <laughs> out, get the rebound right. back at you, but... And you're like, bro. no, box out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave with that shit, box out. Chelsea's like, wait, did I miss that part? I know, I was like, wait, is <laughs> a box was out? I, I mean, did not, 10 second rewind. Wait, she's 15 the whole time? <laughs> the entire time. Wait, the entire time? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, like, get to 16. She never turned course. 16. She never turned 16. No. no. No, it's, it's so like that's what we have to look forward to next season. It should be sixteen. Well, hmm. yeah, sixteen candles, maybe on the headstone. Oh, she's dead. She yeah, she's dead. She's Mariah, dead. Mariah came at her. Oh, yeah. So okay. typical evil, you know. Let's hit it with a quick grade. <laughs> Ever get that uh, one on one? <laughs> what What are you giving a bottle cap grade, Luke Cage season two? Ooh. I mean, okay, but I'm functioning strictly on comparison to season one, and I would give it like. A 4.2. Okay. Oh, my. Now, if you're grading it throughout the rest of the MCU oh. on Netflix. Probably oh. closer to, like, a uh, 4. Straight 4. Not that a point two is that different, but... That's not very different. It's not. It felt different to me. It was good, but it wasn't my favorite. Not What's your favorite? Either. It's not, like, number two. And oh, I loved it so much. Where are you at, Marcus? You haven't seen it. Well, yeah, I'm not going to grade it. All right, you I'm can gonna, grade what you've seen. I mean, right now, I'm gonna, I love it right now, and I can't wait so to watch more, so I'm at like a five out of oh. five. Oh, okay. But uh, like... If you love it right I'll now, wait, while you're wait. still in mad character development, you're going to love well, so, it. It's like what it. you said. I like the I like the artistic nature of the cinematography. I like the soundtrack. I love... The soundtrack. Like, so, you know, so like, all of that kind of just makes it for me that, like... And then... And you, you like this... Alice knows I'm shallow like that. So you like the soundtrack... And you haven't even watched far enough for when KRS One steps into the scene. Okay, yeah. but side note, but like, side like for note, real? Yes. yeah, like in the actual legit, yeah. like in the show, one hundred percent, like not as just himself, his music. No, as himself. Oh at, man, at, at, at Harlem's Paradise, it's toy, toy, so good, oh. so good. Uh, I mean, I'm right there with you. Like, I mean, I I liked 
season one of Luke Cage. So, I mean, I would give season one of Luke Cage, you know, I, I feel that like... That was it, my favorite. Yeah, I feel like it probably hit, like, a four. Like, I, so, I thought they did a good job with, like, up until they offed Cottonmouth. Like, Diamondback just seemed a little theatrical. So yes. it was a little much with him. But I, I also like the way they developed that story is like they were brothers and Diamondback, like, manipulated, you know, Carl Lucas into every wrong that ever happened to him in his life. But, I mean, with me, I'm like, I'm hitting season two with a 4.5. Like, so it, that's what I was, so good. That's what I was going to ask, is like, how would you rate season one versus season Five. two? Five. I love season Season one's my favorite of really? all of the Netflix seasons. Really? See, our producer, wow. he's not here to defend himself. He'd argue, because it doesn't follow the comic books well, and he's like, oh, immediate two yeah. and a half, three. No, no, like, but like you have to... But it's to enjoyable. Se- it's like the shaft of the MCU. Yeah, like, that's you why have I like to separate it. Yourself, it was refreshing like, at the time when it came out. And right? you have I haven't to seen a character yourself. like that like, in a little bit. You have to separate yourself from being like, this is comic book, and this is like... It, I mean, these characters are developed and created on the pages by artists and yes. authors and it's incredible but it's but like when it's put yeah when it's put on the screen you have to also like see it as a different art form and see it did you like, like lord the of the rings yeah i did all right well, shut up <laughs> <laughs> and i read them all and i still think like, i'm not gonna lie though the last one i was like oh it's over same nope, it's still going yeah. okay oh yeah. it's over and i was yeah. like jesus yeah. <laughs> So for me, like I, I really like six it, times. It, if you were going, we've done this before on the show. It, uh, if you were going with your top five Netflix MCU shows, oh hey, god, quick there's only five. Quick. I love Jessica Jones. Season so, which one? one? I, yeah, season one for sure. Okay, like, so okay. season one's probably my number one. I'm not gonna lie. I think Luke Cage would definitely season be one. Uh, I like season, season two. two. Okay, season Luke Cage one. season two. So but you we, just said it wouldn't be in your top two. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did. Do you want me to rewind it? No. I don't <laughs> like being wrong. You want me to misty night? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what would your, What would yours be? Iron Fist? For sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Iron, Iron Fist is the worst of all of them. I, I, I don't know. Like It's tough because I really love Daredevil season one and season two. But that's so, what, like, that's so like, far removed. That's like yeah. the, they yeah Daredevil season one grandfather is all into this universe it's so it's true. hard to like not feel special and about appreciate that one. yeah and, and Daredevil is just such like an incredible character and just such mm-hmm. an iconic character also but is like, the Defenders in there for you I, I I liked the Defenders I really did I like the hand as the villain Let, let's uh let's okay, that's cool. let's step away from the grading of the shows and quick rundown of like where are you at with like your favorite villains from this and let's go ahead and put Bushmaster in that if Bushmaster's in that he's probably my favorite villain because I'm, like I said I he's rooted right for him behind like, Kingpin for man me. he was so fun to watch yeah. and to be a, a part of oh and what yeah. about that I'm, fight scene when him and Cage go in yes. to the like the warehouse together yes. to like shut down the heroin dealers I knew that's what you were going to say and like <laughs> Luke Cage is like we're doing this my way you don't kill anybody and like Bushmaster's just like on 10. Yes. And he like grabs a hatchet because they're fighting like the hatchet men from, uh, I believe that comes out a little bit in Daredevil season one, but then it's definitely relevant in Iron Fist season one. And uh, <laughs> Bushmaster ends up with a hatchet and turns around and just tries to hatchet Luke Cage. Yes. <laughs> Luke Cage looks at him He's like, like bro. <laughs> it was awesome. No, that was so that's great. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> and, and like he's Bushmaster, like, my bad. Yeah, and he looks at him and he's like, well, I had to try. All right. <laughs> I still hate you, bro. Opportunity I mean, <laughs> my favorite villain, it's hard to go against Kingpin because he was, I mean, he was amazing. Well, they but also Kilgrave developed... is probably my one, two, one, two tie. See, I think Kilgrave is the most terrifying person. Terrifying. Ever. But, and, and they did... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. You've had some nightmares. Yeah. I, I think, no, let me just, I think Kilgrave is the most terrifying villain ever. He's like, every now and then I wake up and I have to crawl <laughs> in the kid's bed for safety. I mean, he is. <laughs> That's like the most terrifying... It's very scary. Like, he tells you... He just had a goofy face the whole time, so I can never goofy take him that Goofy faces are creepy. That's I'm so I scared love, of the Joker. I love David Tennant, man. Like, he is an incredible actor. Yeah. But... They, they did a great job developing Kilgrave. It, it was just, like, not as in-depth with uh, what they did with Kingpin. 
and Bushmaster, both of those characters, you feel for them. Well, yeah, they were both right in a certain way. Yes, yes, and yeah, I, 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 don't don't think you, I don't think you. I don't think you have anti-villain. that in the rest of the Netflix yeah. MCU. Mm-hmm. Like the Hand is just like this evil organization, yeah. and they're great. I love the Hand. You know, like I, I love League of Assassins. Like. It's cool to have this gallery of rogue bad guys. I always that... relate it to the Foot Clan and the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was probably exactly, exactly because of that. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, well, they use the foot, so let's use the hand. That's yes, that's <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> but my, uh, yeah, I, I think I probably go Kingpin and then Bushmaster. Yeah, like one and Bushmaster two. is so cool. Oh, yeah, I, I just can't wait to see. I mean, him come I back. would pick Bushmaster in a fighting game. I would pick Kingpin in like a boss battle. Okay, fair. Yeah. Kingpin's still relatively tough to handle. He's a now, but he'd be more like E Honda in Street Fighter versus like, <laughs> you know, DJ is a legit character. Yeah. All right, jumping into a little bit of news of the week. I think you had something for us, Marcus. Yeah, Tom Holland uh, announced, actually kind of tongue in cheek esque via Instagram, that the next Spider Man film has a name. It's Spider Man 2 Far From Home. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited yeah, I because loved Homecoming. I was yeah. like, "This is it. It's finally happened." I can't really wait. Did? Yes, that was like because that's Spider-Man. But I'm a comic book Spider-Man. person, and that is Spider-Man. Yes. That it was like this is the most Spider-Man. Movie. I've been telling Alice like I've been reading a lot of the new. Uh, the, I mean the uh, Spider-Man series, Amazing Spider-Man, and. Uh, He's becoming one of my faves. He's like, I really yes. love Spider-Man a lot. You should read really Spider-Man do. Deadpool. Okay. He, like, yeah, you tries, told me that before. Yeah, yeah he tries to get like raunchier, but he can't because he's fine. Well, yeah, that's what's funny about it. Yeah, yeah he's hilarious. great. He's yeah. great. But I'm, I'm so cool. excited because the next Spider-Man, we, we already know it's going to have Michael Keaton back, so Michael Keaton's coming back. Yes. And then I, oh, I just slipped. I can't remember who the main villain's going to be. Um, other than Michael Keaton, it, they announced, and it's fantastic. I think it's actually... It might be Jake Gyllenhaal as uh, Mysterio. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is a shame that the DC EU let that dude slip away because, like, there's been so many rumors. But the DC EU is garbage. So yeah. So so Spider Man Two, Far From Home. <laughs> it really is. It's, it, it, it was the most tear jerking moment in Avengers: Infinity War Part One. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna be so happy to see Peter Parker back on screen. Tom Holland safe. Everything's okay. Oh, there's a lot of rumors that they're going to introduce. Please don't kill me if I wreck this. Miles? Miles Morales? Yeah, there's a little there's some rumors going around that, that Well that was the big that, that was the big uh, part with uh, Donald Glover's character is he is actually Miles' uncle. Oh yeah. In, in, okay. uh, in homecoming. the first homecoming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he's supposed to be Miles' uncle. That's and awesome. that's like supposed to be pretty canon is like Miles like bring background and it's like bringing up or whatever but yeah, yeah. I, I hadn't heard that I, I need to go back and watch Homecoming again how about do. Like Voodoo if you want to borrow my account I'm just not a big Spider-Man fan and uh, like I still am like uh, I'm still all Toby like, no my way my way and no. Spider-Man like, 2 is the best it is, no. it is a, Spider-Man 2 is a fantastic film it's fantastic Homecoming though but, but Mike Tom dropped. Holland's Spider-Man. I Mike mean, just dropped. It is exactly Like, as anxious as he is, as nerdy yes. as he is, as young as he yes. is, like, he's Spider-Man. He's a teenager. He's a teenager. He, he does a great job. I, I think, and, and for uh, you gamers out there, the new Spider-Man PS4 game is coming out next month, and it's one game of the show at E3 this past, uh, this past month here in June. It is going to be a blockbuster. Please go buy it. Support comic video games because there's not enough good ones out there. There's mostly really bad ones. So what are you talking about, it. man? Ninja Turtles were on arcade back in the day. Teenage that was twenty three years Turtles. ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I love that arcade game. I don't That's know great. if I have any more news of the week that I've, I've caught up on here recently outside of uh, Batman forty nine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be tight. It's if you're not reading wedding. Batman 49, you're not anyone. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I have it here. As our chilling. local comic shop <laughs> has, has called us out multiple times. Secret Identity Comics. Secret Identity Comics, located at 34 North Franklin Street, Franklin Street in What's Delaware, up? Ohio. Kelly and Lara. That's right. Yo, see you later tonight. They're making like trombolis. So oh, that's right, that's right. Are you going? No, no. I have, I have another piece of news. Uh, 
Lucasfilm announced, um, and then denounced, but at first Lucasfilm announced this past week that they are putting a hold on all of the a Star Wars story, uh, separate one-off stories of the Star Wars mm. universe, until episode 9, and then uh, Ryan Johnson's tr- upcoming trilogy. Oh, I figured um, until they started getting stuff. better ratings. Yeah. 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 So, that was a, uh, <laughs> that that was a big, that was a big deal. Um, big deal this past week. Also, another one in the Star Wars universe, a lot of fans grouped together, you guys may have heard about this one, and said that they would, that they have $500 million, I believe, or $100 million in funding, um, from Hollywood, quote unquote, uh, to redo The Last Jedi with a new director, and it got a lot of pub, especially on Twitter. And Ryan Johnson responded himself and said, "Please let get let this get made." <laughs> but it, like it made a lot. Like Seth Rogen like talked about it on Twitter Ooh, and like said, yeah. "Hey, no, for real." Like ask the people who tweeted it out at first, like. For real, how would you go about doing this? Have you secured, like, like really got technical with them? Did you hear the hype about the the robe that Obi-Wan Kenobi ro- wore, and then everybody wore it, and it didn't make any sense? Did you hear about this? Yeah, I've heard that, like, one of the big, big like, holes. yeah, big plot big holes. Big plot stuff. holes. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they have to do it all over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Their outfits were wrong. They got to rebuild the whole universe. Yeah, yeah. For a plot hole, but one. Stunner. That's the only Star Wars one, but then there was another one about Batman Universe going to be rebooted uh, without. That's why I just said yeah. the DC. He's like yeah. garbage. It's yeah, DC had a <laughs> DC had a problem this past week. It was a problem week for them. Yeah. Like it, I there's no hope. I'm sorry. I don't know how I can support. Yeah, no, those films are the obligation for this podcast. To no hope. <laughs> yes. No hope. Yes. I mean, it literally is like I can't imagine anybody who's been on more of a roller coaster than Ben Affleck as Batman because like it, it's been what five years and every other week he's not Batman. He's Batman. Right. He's yeah. coming back in for a trilogy. He's not Batman. He's getting dropped. They're going younger. He's like, and like, all he wants to say is unequivocally, "I'm Batman." Right. <laughs> Who's your favorite Batman? Michael Keaton. Yeah. Ben Affleck. Really? That is See, I think Ben Affleck, Affleck is. is my favorite um, Batman. Wayne. I was going to say his name. We say Bruce Wayne. Okay. <laughs> I think he's a good Bruce Wayne because he's like such a like. But I like older he's, Batman. I yeah. like like a, I like grown up Batman. I, I I've said this before. Keaton is the best Batman because he's the original or yes. like in the theatrical like kind of you know. Uh, Affleck's probably my favorite, and Christian Bale had the best movies. Christian Bale had the best movies. Yes. Um, yeah, Affleck. I guess he's pretty well rounded. I, I feel like he's think just of both like the dynamics. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> but he's probably my. I don't know. I don't love him as Bruce Wayne. I I like him as Batman though. That chin. That chin's pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Strong chin. 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 <laughs> Keaton chin. Thank you. All right, on the Keaton chin, we are going to be cashing out of this episode. Make sure you head over to heroesbythepoint.com. And over there, you will find a backlog of all of our old episodes, as well as links over to all of our social media sites and anywhere you like to stream your podcast. This week, we are drinking North High's Pale Ale, one of our favorite beers, and Make sure you listen to episode one or follow us on Untap and check out our bottle cap reviews. Head over to iTunes, hit us with those five-star reviews. When you're over on our website, scroll to the bottom of the page, click on that microphone banner, and make sure you hit us with some beer fun money. It goes a long way to supporting this podcast. All right. Once again, this is the Heroes by the Pint podcast. We are the glassy-eyed geeks, and we are out. We'll take forever! (laughs) 